So you're regretting the day you ever downloaded iOS 11, thinking you might get a better screen recorder, and suddenly realizing the ones on iOS 10 were actually better. Is there a way to solve that? Surprisingly, with one of these. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and if you are new here, my mission on this channel is to help you record your iOS screen, whether it be iPhone and iPad, and share it with the world on YouTube or whatever video platform you wish to use. And previously on iOS 10, that was quite difficult to do. Then we all rejoiced when iOS 11 came out, but then we all cried when we realized that it was still difficult to do because it doesn't quite work properly because of audio issues. So, how did I fix that problem? Well, I went out and bought an old iPod Touch, the 6th generation. Yes, here it is. It is one of those with the wonderful chrome finishes on the back here. And this is the cheapest way you could get an iOS 10 device at the moment because I went out and bought this just after iOS 11 came out, but I was delighted to discover that the operating system on this device was up to date to the latest iOS 10 version. And to confirm, we can go to general, tap on about, and this is the version it came with, iOS 10.3.3, which was the last working version for those old screen recorders such as Airshow and Evrecord. Obviously, it is telling me right here that I am ready for a software update to iOS 11.0.3 because this is 64-bit architecture on the iPod Touch, but of course, I'm not going to do that because I've already got it on the iPhone 7 and the iPad. So, yeah, this is not exactly a tip here to go out and spend $200 on a 32 gig music player, which is fairly redundant in this day and age. But I wanted to make sure that if I did want to return to screen recording on an application such as Airshow, I had that option. So just to confirm that it does still work, Airshow here, or it doesn't because it looks like the app is broken. So I'm going to, have to download it again. Whoops. <laughs> So there's a tip for you, make sure you check that Airshow is still working on the certificate before you start your recording. Right, so we're just going to do a quick recording here of a portrait video, do it at 1080p and go through all the usual steps. There we are, the airplane mirroring and lo and behold on iOS 10, we still have the option to stream a recording to Airshow. The recording has started. So I'm going to do a video recording right here on, of course, my favorite game, Clash Royale. And I'll stick it on screen just like this. You know, I don't think I'm ever going to get bored of doing that. So this is a screen recording of Clash Royale done by Airshow on an iOS 10 device. And the audio works fine other than the music not being there. But fortunately, at least we can hear the audio and we can edit it as we usually would do, unlike iOS 11 at this point, which has all sorts of problems. Now, a couple of caveats with this. It is a bit of a joke video uh, because I'm not expecting you to go out there and spend $200 on an iPod because it might not have iOS 10 when you buy it. I believe it may depend on the manufacture date. I must have been very lucky and got one which simply had the latest version of iOS 10 on. Future ones may have iOS 11, impossible to tell until you buy it. And obviously if you buy one with iOS 11 already pre-installed, then you're stuffed because you can't roll back because they're no longer signing iOS 10. I should also mention that this was the second time I recorded Clash Royale. The first time I did it, it crashed. So it is kind of a bit of a cheat, but it's working perfectly, but you get the idea. So there is no perfect solution. As expected with iOS 11 or iOS 10 with screen recording at the moment, very frustrating. This is not the solution we all wanted. And when I have more time, see this video for more information about that, I will be investigating the problem further. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching after this elongated absence. I hope to be back soon on a semi-regular basis. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.